Hi, my name is Arik, and I'm going to be demonstrating a Chiron Point healing, which I am I'm teaching later this year, and I've taught throughout the world. So here we go. And this is Philip. He's my demonstration. So the the Chiron Point is a point on everybody's body that um, until this point is sealed, healing cannot stay in. So it doesn't matter if you're doing acupuncture or massage therapy or any kind of therapy that you're doing, the, when, you're, when you seal the Chiron point regularly and you find out where it is, then we have the ability that it's staying in. So it's like a glass of water. You have to imagine a glass of water. When you pour in the water and there's a hole in it, that hole would be the Chiron point. So once it's sealed, then the water will stay in. Now, to do that, I use a, my system of astrology, which is the synthesis of astrology and kinesiology. And it's really interesting because there's, a, there's actually a quote that goes, I don't know who said it, but it was like, Galileo was interested in astronomy, not the telescope. And for me, this is the same way. So kinesiology allows me to, it's a tool that I use to see what's going on on the archetypal level to figure out where these different points are on the body because the Chiron point is something that's on the body and Chiron is an archetype that you find in a chart and so I but before a session I spend time preparing the charts and we use the natal chart and because I see where Chiron is I'm able to have a pretty good idea of where the point is on the body and then I use uh, the kinesiology, the muscle testing, to verify this point. Now, when I teach this, I, I teach a very introductory level. What I'm doing is um, kind of more like university level because I've been doing it for, for such a long time. So uh, I'm just going to use this arm here. Thank you, Philip. So, okay. Okay. So the... Um, in kinesiology, which communicates with the nervous system uh, through the subconscious mind, and then uh, we check with the muscles, uh, if, we, if we make a statement, and then if the muscles are what's called under-facilitated, then they will go what's called weak, or they'll go down. Now, in most cases, uh, where people, they haven't had their current point sealed, if they say, the mantra which uh, I learned from Dr. Diamond, health is good, uh, in conjunction with the chart, then we can see if the person is aligned with the statement, health is good, or if it's stressing them out. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, make the statement and we're going to check, see if, if Philip is aligned with health is good at this point. Okay? So I'll just... Health is good, and this is bring the arms up here and hold. Okay, so you see, health is good. There's there's some work that can be done there. So now, um, because I because I use the chart to really narrow it down. The chi the Chiron that is an asteroid and it's in the chart. It's actually in Cancer. Okay, so it's in the sign Cancer. And I have a pretty good idea of where the point could be based on some other aspects and things that are going on. It could be, for example, on the various meridian or um, an acupoint connected to the archetype. But I'm just going to quickly check a few points because I know where to check. And then we will see the, the quickest way to do that. So, so okay. So these are just various acupoints that are connected with the uh, Cancer Meridian. So if you're wondering what's the Cancer Meridian, I'm talking about the zodiac sign, which is um, my take, my approach to working with astrological kinesiology because, or astro what I call astrology, because there are different archetypes. There's a different way to understand the meridians uh, then with TCM, because we have 12 meridians, 12 signs, for example. So, okay. 
Okay. So when I am scanning, okay, in my mind, um, Philip's body, right, the, the skin, and then I'm, I'm making the statement, health is good, which I've stacked in. So anytime I check, see, it's going to go down until I get a, a lock that is a, a change, an indicator change, so that then I know that the statement then is being healed. Uh, and that actually, not that it's the statement's being healed, that's a correction, that we found the right point. Then we can figure out what needs to be done. Okay, very good. So, um, I'm just going to verify. Okay, so bring the arms up here one more time. Say health is good. Okay. So it's still going a little bit weak. So hold on, I have to double check. So now I'm just scanning. Be okay. The back of the head. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually, the, the point is in the back of the head. Now this makes a lot of sense because cancer rules cavities. The, the, the side, the archetype cancer, it rules the different kinds of caves of the body. And the skull is a cave, like where it's, it's, it's holding the brain um, and the fluids and such. So if I just put this back here, hold, stack in the, the point in the back and say, Okay, in relation to the back of the head. Keep it up and hold. That's good. Okay. So a little bit stronger, we're getting there, but now I need to figure out maybe something else needs to, to, um, to help to seal this point. So what I use is actually, let's go over here. Uh, I have a chart here that I created. It's called the Dash Astrology Wheel. And on this chart has uh, various uh, remedies, uh, essential oil blends that are connected to the different astrological archetypes. And based off the Chiron in his chart, let's see here. Uh, the, the okay. The best essential oil blend would be actually detox. Detox essential oil blend. So, and the cool thing is the cool thing about this is that you can also just do it with the chart. So let me see. Okay, here's detox, and then I'm also just going to grab another one. Just double check. Okay. Okay. Bring them up here. Health is good. Okay. And again, health is good. Okay. Okay, health is good. And don't let me push down, hold. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna check here. So detox is a very powerful, um, almost like an Ayurvedic blend. Oh yeah, this one seems to be working. Okay. Smell that. Aromatherapy, it works wonders. You can use it topically, you can just smell it. Okay, my health is good. Okay, 
Help is good. Okay. This is now holding. So the command point is sealed. Now, the, the really cool thing also about this is that you can, like I said, you can put it on the point. Um, if it's on your back, sometimes you need to get someone to help you do that. Um, but, or if you can reach, if you're really flexible. But in this case, because it's in the back of the head, um, you can put it on and then you can go about your day and then the point will be sealed and it will also remain sealed. Now, you don't have to use um, an essential oil blend, by all means, you don't have to. I use them because I think that they're very easy and simple to use. Um, in workshops, I've had people use all kinds of things from uh, symbols to three minute long mantras. Now, you can do that. I'm not saying you can't. However, if you need to like spend three minutes looking at something or reciting a mantra to see your current point, I mean, me personally, I would rather just put it on and go because then I'm ready to go about my day. That's why I like this so much and it's also something you can use topically. So, and like I said, because I'm looking into the chart, I have insight into how this is working with Chiron in, in the chart. So the Chiron point and Chiron together they usually represent a very deep wound that we've had, uh, something that we've brought this life, we've brought into this life, and something that is um, in a past life somewhere where we have indulged, and it's a deep wound we have. Once it's healed, then we can take that healing uh, to others. So uh, let's just, and I always like to make sure, is this okay for you? Is this okay to smell? Okay, so can I just get you to put one drop on the, the back of the head. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in your hand. Okay, you can just put it on the back of your head. Okay, yeah. And then say health is good. Health is good. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Awesome. Now let's just do the double test. Okay. Mm -hmm. And health is good, hold. Oh, you can say it. Health is good. Hold. Perfect. Okay. So, that is the current point. The current point is now sealed. And then I can also check, uh, you know, certain things like, um, you know, for homework. So something that's like uh, every day. Okay, so. so every day, the point should be sealed every day. It could be that sometimes I have clients that they've been doing it for months and then they don't need to do it every day anymore. But when they start to feel a little bit weak, then they need to go back to doing it every day to help with, you know, something they're going through. Something it could be as simple as a tooth, as a teeth cleaning, for example. Um, okay, so every day, one drop in the cancer cycle. Yeah. So the cancer cycle is between seven and nine o'clock of every morning, where it peaks at eight o'clock, um, and then opposite cycle. If not okay. And if this is not possible, then he can do it in between seven and nine in the evening because it's the opposite sign, which would be Capricorn and two halves are of the, of the same. So that was the, that was the current point uh, demonstration. And like I said, I, I teach this workshop in a, in a two day um, uh, time frame to really explain how to do all these different points. It's a little bit different than what I do here because I do it really quickly but I do teach how to do it in a way that's explaining every step. And then of course you figure out which tools work for you. So any kind of therapist, whatever it is that you're working with, you can figure out how to use your tools to seal the current point. So um, I, I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and be sure to like the video, subscribe if you uh, enjoyed it and want more. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.